Johnny in Serbia writes to me. He says, Paul, I am trying to get a hold of the audiophiles guide. Oh boy, it's hard to do in Serbia without $170, $200. Whoa, which I don't have. Anyway, you know, uh, send me a note, paul at psaudio.com, Johnny, and I'll see what I can do to help you out. Okay, because we would like you to have that book. Um, anyway, on with the question. If compressed files like FLAC, which stands for Free Lossless Audio Codec, uh, needs to be uncompressed to be played, thus using more power from the chip that's decoding it and making the power supply work harder, doesn't it make more sense to use uncompressed music like WAVE, uh, since the power supply will generate less noise? Storage is dirt cheap these days. What's my take on it? I could not agree more. One of the, we, we know, let's, let's look at, what, what do we know? What do we know? Well, here's what we know. <laughs> we know that FLAC and ALAC are lossless compression schemes that once decoded, we can compare bit for bit and they are identical. But as Johnny correctly points out, the processing horsepower needed to uncompress those, especially in real time as you're playing it and then presenting it, puts a strain on the power supply and that creates more noise. That noise goes through the grounds and it's one of the bigger problems that digital audio has. Not just that, but any kind of processing that goes on always degrades the sound a bit. Now, how to get around that? Well, obviously we could tell the world, storage is dirt cheap and you don't need to do it anymore. But that won't help companies like Cobas, Tidal, streaming companies. Storage may be dirt cheap, streaming and bandwidth ain't. So those companies want to have the smallest amount of data going out of their streaming services as possible because the, the more data that goes out, the more they gotta pay. And that's a tough business, man, I, I don't know. I would not wanna be in the streaming business. So you have this problem where I think, yes, as an audiophile, as somebody who has storage, local storage of, of audio, do not store in lossless compressed files. If you can, take the time and do, I don't like WAVE so much because WAVE doesn't have the ability to have metadata. So being an Apple guy, I like their AIFF, um, which is WAVE with the ability to have metadata. And there's probably other ways to get it too, but if you can, in your storage, just get another, I mean, a terabyte is like, hundred bucks, 50 bucks. I mean, it's not much. So if you're storing locally, absolutely don't have lossless encoded files because your computer will work harder. Now in our servers and the upcount, which is not out yet, but say in our perfect wave transport in our perfect wave SACD transport in our upcoming server, we have solved that problem. How? We've solved the problem by using what's called galvanic isolation. So we talked for a moment about what happens when there's more crunching going on and more horsepower being used in the computer. And inside all these servers is basically an SBC, a single board computer. And it, it could be a Raspberry Pi, it could be you know any number of things, doesn't matter. It, it, they're all sort of doing the same thing. And the harder they work, the worse they sound because of the noise that is generated in the power supply on the grounds. By using galvanic isolation, we eliminate that entirely. How? Because galvanically isolation, uh, isolating means we don't have any connection to the ground. We have no physical connection to anything. Everything is sent by light or by radio waves. In our, in our case, we have a little, little transmitters that send the digital signal over the air. So any noise over here is never carried through here. And our output stage has its own power supply, its own reclocker. Everything is completely isolated. So it doesn't care how much work is going on over here. It could care less. But 
that's unusual. That's not typically done. So in general, unless you're going to get one of our products, and even if you do, there's no reason for it, but except streaming, right? That's always going to be there. So um, yeah, I completely agree with you for those reasons. Okay? All right. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.